G'day guys, Fu here, and welcome back to the third episode of my Huddersfield Town career mode. Now, the last two episodes, you guys have gone crazy on the views, on the likes, on the comments, suggestions for transfers and whatnot. And speaking of transfers, we are still in the transfer window. Joe Lolly has been loaned out. But yeah, this this episode will actually be starting the Premier League season. As you can see, Schofield goes up to a 56. But yeah, we'll, we'll be starting the Premier League season. We have a transfer offer for Chris Love here. And... Uh, we, we actually decided to go into negotiation because I, I'm not sure whether I should get rid of him, but I'm also not sure whether he's a, a viable asset to our side. So I go and counter 3.6 million to see what they are going to go and say. And they say we have a deal. So uh, Love will be going to Bournemouth. Eddie Howe doing some successful business there. And um, I did that because I still got Malone in my team and he's... A good replacement. One of the players I was looking at was Marco Pajaka. Unfortunately, he's gone to loan to Sunderland. Um, and this will be the team that we will be taking into the first Premier League game this season. So the first chance actually comes from a free kick. It hits the wall and the goalkeeper makes a very interesting dive save there to protect it. We have a nice finesse shot, but it does go over the bar, of course. They have a nice cross. We try and head it out, and unfortunately, Crystal Palace score the first goal of the game. Poor defending by my player. We have another chance here with Mooney. Passes over. Moy has a header, and it goes straight to the keeper. Here we go. Aaron Moy passes to Danny Welbeck. He's in a lot of space. Probably shouldn't have taken the shot. But he does and it doesn't go in. Milovojevic manages to dribble around Hadujonaj. Very hard to pronounce those two players, but Benteke does get the goal near post and it's now 2 0. We have another chance here. Rafinha does manage to do a Cruyff turn around their defender. Passes to Welbeck to Mooney. Aaron Moy has a great chance and he hits the bar. Crystal Palace do get an open chance with Milojevic, if that is how you pronounce it, and they go 3 0 up before half time. So I decided we need to make some changes. Uh, so I put Rafinha at striker, mainly because he's got that pace, and I made a few other changes, brought Reese Nelson on because Steve Mooney wasn't giving me anything. They have another chance here. Van Anholt, terrific dribbling, and um, yeah, the, the, that's not a very nice own goal at all. We have a chance here. We've got Rafinha. We just put him at striker, and he does go down, and it's not a penalty, unfortunately. Um, Christian Benteke passes it to Wilfred Zaha, and it goes wide. We almost get a chance here with Danny Welbeck with terrific defensive pressure. But we have Tommy Ince passing it in to Rafinha to Danny Welbeck who has a shot and it hits the bar again. But we kept going, we kept pushing. We knew that we were 4-0 down but we had an opportunity here with Rafinha and he buries it bottom corner. It's 4-1, it's a consolation goal for sure but at least provides some entertainment for the travelling fans. We've got Rafinha with the ball again, passes it to Tommy Ince. Passes it back to Rafinha, has another shot, and it's a good save by the keeper. But Reese Nelson, with some good pressure, passes it inside to Danny Welbeck, and we get our second in the 90th minute. 4 2. That is the game, unfortunately. But we do score two away goals in our first Premier League game to start off the season with a 4 2 loss. Um, I thought we probably deserved to win that game, actually. We had more shots, we had more shots on target. Um, I thought we played better, but we didn't get the result in the end. Uh, Mooney does go up to 77, which is some good news. Um, and since we're still in the transfer window, we do go ahead and negotiate for Ronaldo Vieira from Leeds United. He's a good young CDM player. I tried to get some swaps done. Uh, they were interested in Lepara. I put in an extra million. They agree with that. So I go straight to the negotiation with the Vieira because he will be an important player for our future. I sign him for five years. They wanted three, so I go ahead and accept that. He's a rotation player. I basically give him exactly what he wants after a few negotiations and some counter offers. And uh, when comparing him to Hogg, he's, he's, his stats are actually pretty good. He's only 69 rated. As you can see, Love souls for 3.6 million. Now, I decided to go and get a scout future star here. Now, Youth, youth Academy, I've not always been interested in, but I decided to do a scout future star this time. And as you can see, here is our team with Vieira coming in for Hogg for our second Premier League game of the season. first chance does go to Danny Welbeck. In fact, he does some great dribbling, passes over to Tommy Ince. Tommy Ince has a shot and it's a good save by the keeper. We're in again with Danny Welbeck. He does cross it over. Steve Mooney with the header and it's a good save. Had a Jonaj down the wing, passes it 
and it's, somehow that is a penalty. As you can see in the replay, it's a very dodgy call by the referee, but Danny Welbeck steps up to go 1-0 up against Newcastle. He's trying to bury it, bottom hand corner, and it's saved. So we make some changes. We regroup in the second half. We have a nice header by our centre back. And we go 1-0 up against Newcastle. The first home game of the season and potentially the first victory in this Huddersfield Town career mode. We weren't done. In fact, it's a good interception by Nelson. Passes over to Welbeck to Mooney. Mooney does a nice through ball. Danny Welbeck manages to do a nice standing tackle. He has a beautiful shot and it's 2-0 up. Danny Welbeck scoring his second goal for the club, putting us 2-0 up. And he goes and celebrates with the fans as he should because we have this victory in the bag. They don't stop trying though, Newcastle have a good opportunity here, but they do hit the post. And here we are again, down the wing with Rafinha, a nice Ronaldo chop, heads it in, and Reese Nelson does hit the side netting, but that is enough to get the three points on this occasion. And that actually puts us into a decent placing of eighth position. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more Huddersfield Town Career Mode content.